Hey guys, it's Jasmine from 6 Minutes in Lala Land, and in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a um, beam on Photo Filter. And um, just to let you know, beams usually come out better in Photoshop, but if you don't have Photoshop, it is possible to do it on Photo Filter. It just won't come out as professional looking. But anyway, you can still do it. So. I am going first to open your picture and I'm going to use this picture of Miley Cyrus and first thing you do is if you want to edit the colors or anything like make it black and white or like do that kind of stuff whatever do that first and then after you do all that you go to edit and then you click define pattern and you have to do that or it won't really work Okay, okay, and now, sorry, I'm watching TV, I'm watching TRL's finale thing, okay, I'm um, sorry, okay, now, you get your circle tool over here, and you just make like an oval shape, like around her head, or whatever you're doing, and don't make it like too big, just make it like about like that, and then, you right click and you go to stroke and fill and this will pop up and you could do the width if you want your beam thick I recommend like about 10 but if you don't want it so thick I mean maybe 5 or 6 I usually do 6 and then pick the color you want and I'll do it my favorite color which is blue and then you press ok and your little circle will pop up and you keep doing that and make sure when you like do a new oval that it's like connected to the one you just did and make sure it always goes around the person so I'm gonna do it like that and you always like overlap the other one you just did and you just keep doing that stamp tool and make sure the opacity is 100 fixed is unchecked and pattern is checked and the radius um, 10 is pretty good okay and then for this you start right here and you just go like this and just take like that off it's really simple and then you take the next one right here oops you have to be really careful for it to come out right because like I'm not always careful and it doesn't come out right and you just do that see like if there's a pattern like you do this side then that side then this side and just pay attention closely to what I'm doing And you can already start to see the pattern form. Yeah. Sorry, that was my little sister asking about her bedtime. Okie dokie. Sorry I'm taking so long, it's just you like have to be very careful. And this is about my third time doing it because I actually just figured out how to do it. Like I did them before but like I found a new way of doing them and it's way better. Okay, a couple more. You're so gay and you don't even like boys. No, you don't even like, no, you don't even like, no, you don't even like boys. You're so gay and you don't even like boys. No, you don't even like, no, you don't even like, no, you don't even like. Oh, wait, okay. You have to get your magic.
magic wand first, I knew that. And then you click one part of the beam and it'll highlight the whole thing. And then you go to filter, stylize, prog progressive contour, and then make sure it's the exact same color as your beam right here. And like, if you're not sure which one it is in here, you can just click your beam and it'll put the color in there. And your width, you can make it at 3 because I don't think it looks that right if it's super thick. Um, make sure outside is clicked, opacity 100% and blur is checked and then press OK. And that makes your um, beam glow and then you can hide selection. And now you go back to your clone stamp tool and it should have all the same options as before like opacity 100, fix unchecked pattern, checked and radius at about 10 and now you go over where you don't want the beam on and you can just watch to see what I mean and you can just do that and the trick is to do it on every other one. Like, hold on, let me redo it so I can explain. Okay, it's like this. So you can leave the one over her head because it's not like messing up her face. And you can take off the one on her face because I'm sure you want her face showing. And then you skip this next one and take off the next one after that. So you pretty much like take off the one, every other one. Then make sure you only take it off her body and not around her. So I'm skipping this one. I'm doing this one. So I have to do her wrist also. And right here. Okay, now skip that one. And go right here. And make sure you get all the progressive contour things too. Because like if you just get the line, then there's like the... Like, I can't explain it, but you'll see. <laughs> okay, so that is it. And that's the beam. And it was pretty simple. Oh, and at the ends, they're like squared. You can zoom in and round them off a little bit. With, like, with this, you can make the radius smaller. Because it's easier to round when it's smaller. And you just round it. Because it just it looks better when it's rounded and on the bottom one too okay and then like the ends aren't glowing so you can get your magic wand again and click it click each part and then just and click the t this top one and then do filter stylize progressive contour and then just press ok because it will be there so that will make the ends like re-glow and then do that on the bottom one too filter stylize progressive contour ok and that is pretty much it and you will have a beam and it looks pretty good and comment if this helped and if you're watching this from YouTube, check out Six Minutes in Llama Land. And yeah, comment if it helped. Bye.